Hi everyone, I have a super cool project to share with you. Uh, first of all, I was watching a video the other day on the channel Cooking and Crafting, and I'll put her link in the down bar. And she was showing how you could make decorative twist ties with wasi tape, that Japanese sort of papery tape, and green floral wire. So this is a kind of floral wire. It's 22 gauge floral wire, and I got this value pack, 8 ounces at Michael's, for $1.20 something, and then I got an additional 20% off, because there's a coupon on right now. So, this floral wire and the Wasi tape. So, I was looking around for some of that Japanese tape, and looking online, and people were saying that it is kind of expensive, and I came across a link on how to make your own Wasi tape, and that's what I'm so excited about to share with you. So for that, you will need some wax paper or parchment paper. I'm using parchment paper here. Some masking tape. Anything that the tape will not stick to. So wax paper, parchment paper would be the best. Um, some Mod Podge. Scissors. And then whatever decorative um, design you want your tape to be. So then that got me thinking and I thought, you know, that Tim Holtz scripty kind of tape. I think I'm going to try and make some of those Lee All text right here. Tear it out. And then just glue it down on this masking tape that I've applied sticky side down. You want it to be a little bit bigger than the tape that's laying down. And you're going to take Mod Podge and just glue that down. Okay, so I've got my uh, text down there, as you can see. And then right beside it, right beside it, I laid two rows of masking tape down here. And then a strip of fabric. So I'm going to try fabric on it. So I'm going to podge on the tape, mod podge, on top of the tape that's laying down here. And then lay my fabric right over top and I think I'll just trim off the excess fabric because I'm sure I could use this for something and I'm going to take my brayer and just run over this lightly and then I'm going to give both the paper and the fabric a light coating of Mod Podge on the top. Now, if I was going to be making a lot of this, this is just for demo purposes, that's why I'm just doing such a small little strip. But I would lay this out on a table and um, do a lot at one time. And I just think this is this the coolest thing because, again, the sky's the limit. And just like um, the video in the down bar says, you, for the making twist ties from this, you can make it match your party theme, which would be kind of fun. Okay, so we're just going to let that dry, and then I will be right back to show you what to do next. Okay, I used my... Emboss gun, embossing gun, my heat gun, to dry this. So we've got the fabric dried and the paper dried. And then I'm going to take some really sharp scissors and turn this over where you can see the tape there. So you're just going to cut it out along the lines. So I'll do the fabric side first. That way you get nice straight lines of tape. So cut all the way down. One tip I wanted to tell you too about Mod Podge when you're putting it away, it's really a good idea to place a plastic little baggie over the rim of the Mod Podge and then it prevents the lid from sticking when you're trying to reopen it again the next time. So I have always done that and I find it works really, really well and saves you a lot of time having to run it under hot water or whatever to open it. Okay, so there's my first strip of tape. Is this not cool? So you could just roll your tape up, leaving, of course, the parchment paper on the back until you need it. I'll cut the other one out later. And now we'll do the paper one. So I've got my 
paper text tape and my fabric Wasi tape. Now I'm going to show you a couple of ways in which you can use either one of them. Okay, for the paper tape, I was just playing around earlier with um, a greeting card with some scraps that I had on my table. So um, I thought I'll just use this as an experiment and see how it works. So I had made this card here, and it was really a non-occasion card. I stamped out the word bloom. I had done this with a stencil that I got at the dollar store. It's so pretty, and I used some gold in there. So before, and then this was just a piece of paper, and then I put black on the inside. So before I glue that on the card front, I think I'll just take some of this text and just tape it across the front, and we'll see how this works. So I'm going to peel off the parchment paper, and I've got my tape there. Oh, this is so awesome I tell ya the things you can do with this there sticks really well take some scissors and give it a little trim and then I'm just gonna put some foam tape underneath my card here and then I had stamped out the word bloom from a Michaels um, stamp and I'm just going to take some white craft ink and just sort of ink around the edges a little bit just so it pops a little. And we'll just pop that up with some more foam tape. There, so you can see how that homemade Wasi tape can just add a little decorative embellishment to your page or your cards. And now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the fabric one. Now, um, I'm having a doula meeting tonight with some clients, and it was just like a last-minute meeting. And I needed one of the other doulas to come tonight, and nobody was available. And then uh, one of our doulas kindly made arrangements to come and to help me out with the meeting, and I really appreciate it. So I ran outside quickly and picked her a little posy of some flowers from my garden and I thought what can I give it to her in because I don't want to give her a vase that she has to feel like she has to return so I went to my recycling took out a water bottle cut the top off and made it into a little vase I don't know if you can see that so I made it into a little vase and then what I'm going to do is take this tape I just made and run a strip of it around the base of the vase to give it a little decorative element. And so I just want to show you how cute that looks on that flower vase. Is that not cute? Just added a little punch to a recycled bottle and then I'm accompanying the flowers with a little card that I embellished. It was a pre-made card from Michaels and I think you got a package of 12 or 8 of them for $1.50. I got some bling butterflies, glued it right on top, and then added these little making memories, little memo tags, and a for you stamp from a Stampin' Up stamp. And so it's ready to go. And I wrote thanks to her inside with a nice bright colored envelope. It came with those. And I have all these cards, as I mentioned to you in another, another video, all up on my window, ready to go. Homemade Wasi tape. Give it a try. It is super, super fun. And if you want to know how to make the twist ties with the tape, look at the video in the link in the down bar. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.